Hello and what is going on guys, my name is Unsaintly and welcome to the next Solar Adventures uh, Curse of Nex Ramas thingamajig that I do every week and this time the I think it's the construction quarter that came out I'm pretty sure that's the case, yeah the construct quarter Oh we are getting close to the end Okay let's open this bad boy up This week we'll have um, patchwork Thaddeus, who else is in there? That's patchwork. And then I think this is the weird slimy guy. Whatever, this is patchwork, I see. Patchwork is sewn together from adventurers who couldn't defeat Lawwalker Cho. <laughs> the massive abomination is Kalthuzad's unstoppable avatar of war. Destroy a minion. For mana, destroy a minion. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try my trusty mid-range. If that doesn't work, we'll see what we can do. Normally, this should be like half an hour long. So, let's see how this works out. And obviously, we will do the challenges after that. No heroics mode like always, because I don't feel like I want to do that. What the fuck is that? Let the hunt begin. Okay. Oh, look at that. He doesn't have any cards. So I don't want that. I guess I want one haunted creeper at least. Okay. He doesn't have any cards. Lothab, Timberwolf. Eh, I don't know. And I get the coin. Wow, that's... Put this weapon into your- oh, oh. I don't think my trusty mid-range hunter is gonna do anything nice here. Oh my. Mamma mia. Yeah, this is worthless. <laughs> oh god. I guess I put the web spin around. Oh fuck, he's still going straight for the face. I think I need zoo. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. I wish he would have destroyed. Fuck me, dude. This is Pretty nasty. Hunley, yeah, this deck is not good. I guess I want the web spinner so I get the minion so I can draw more stuff. I mean, this is not lost yet, but it looks kind of bad. Especially with that. Okay, it's, it's definitely zoo time. With the, uh, yeah, with uh, Zoo, this should be really easy. Okay, we figured that out, though. Playtime? <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Easy. Easy mode with uh, Zoo. Shouldn't be a problem. I should be able... I think this is the better Zoo deck that I have, actually. No, I actually think this might be better. No, this is better, this is better. The second one plays power overwhelming and eggs and stuff. It's easier to trigger eggs against someone that doesn't want to deal with eggs. Gul'dan versus Patchwork. Okay. Patchwork we have a power overwhelming oh, here. I would love to have a... I would love to keep it, but I don't want to. I guess I'm gonna do it like this. Even though Creeper is not that much damage output. Eh, ah, fuck that hand, I guess. Can be better, should be better. Yeah. Now I don't have my enable for the egg, but that's okay. That is okay. I need to develop my board really fast. Another flame imp. That's why I'm gonna do this, do this, do this. 
The self damage is fairly harsh, but I have to deal with it. And the eggs are really useless, but I. I need some enable. Next round, you can destroy stuff, so. He has to destroy the taunt, which is good. Now he has to hit the dude, and then he can strike me again. If I get a power overwhelming, I can win this. Or a doom guard. Do I do this to spread out the damage? He's gonna kill that anyways, right? Like... So I want to maximize my damage right now, even though, yeah, I think that's better. I want to maximize my damage. Because he's gonna kill it anyways, priority-wise, yeah. Did I- is it enough? Six, seven, eight, yeah. Okay! My mid-range hunter failed me the first time, but this mechanic is... It's just a zoo or murloc matchup. <laughs> yep. Undertaker, this guy might actually fuck uh, everything up because zoo might be crazy with that guy. Whenever you summon a minion with a death rattle gain 1-1. One, one. Because zoo plays a good amount of stuff that has death rattles, and I think if you kind of tinker with it a little bit more, it could be crazy, but I don't know. Grobulus! Grobulus. For an army of giants. You are test subject one. Deal one damage to all minions. If any die, summon a slime. So I want to play bigger creatures. Grobulus was meant to be the first of an army of flesh giants. Are there more like him? I don't know, motherfucker. I kind of want more beefy units against him if he does that AoE stuff. So... I could actually play Miracle. I could actually play Miracle and I think it would work out really well. I think. Midrange... Midrange is pretty okay as well. I think I'm gonna try midrange again. I just like the deck. I just like the deck a lot. Might not be the best, but I kind of want to... I kind of want to... <clears throat> the first match, at least, I want to try with mid-range. He has cards, so that's good to know. Um, I guess I'm going to do that. Mm, that's okay. If I get a good one-drop or, so or flare or something, that would be nice. Ah, uh, I want to keep him for buzzard. I will hunt you down. No talk. No talk. Leopard gnome. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I am hoping for Misha. That is not Misha. That lets me kill one of these guys, though. Do they multiply even if I keep them alive? Or what's going on? I don't know. I'm just gonna... Control the board a little bit. Even though that's kind of bad, huh? Kind of bad. That is kind of bad. I kind of an, I kind of have a horrible hand here. I could play the timber wolf, but that's uh, it feels like a waste. I don't want him to summon a slime. I want to kill that though. I don't want to hunt us market because that seems like a big waste. I don't want to play nothing. That's really dumb as well, but I cannot really play anything else. 
So, I could play Timberwolf and attack into this guy, but then he just does his thing and he summons a lot of slimes. Uh, this turn is really ugly. Oh god, what's coming now? What we do. Please don't kill my dude. Thank you. Um... I think I want to do it like that. Even though it wipes the board. Let's track. Ah, oh, fuck. This is not good. You kind of want Buzzard Unleash. I would rather have Unleash. Or Buzzard. Buzzard is really good to just cycle through your deck. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take Unleash. Still an awkward turn because I really have nothing to play. Not a good curve. Echoing Ooze, I can deal with that. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm. I lost. I lost. Do I unleash kill command one of these guys? I kind of feel like I have to. Yeah. Oh, and they are 2-2. Two, two. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god, he's, he's wiping the floor with me. I, again, feel... Zoo might destroy this guy, even though it might aggravate his shit. I cannot play. I need to. Hmm. Oh, fuck, dude. The problem is he can use his hero ability now. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna get through all of these taunts. This is not working out. I mean, that's not helping either. But I have to... I think I lost that. Pretty darn sure I lost that. Because I cannot play anything without taking like... Uh, I take at least nine. If I not kill this guy. The Houndmaster is wrecking me. I don't have any AoE in this deck. I kind of have to do this. And then kill this guy. And then... I still have the problem of not being able to play anything really. Like... This is actually my best, my best turn I could have, because now he has to attack into that guy. But I don't really have anything to clean the board with. Another Houndmaster is not the answer. Ah! Fuck me, dude! Holy shit! That was bad! I think I need to play Miracle would fucking destroy that guy. Yeah. Interesting that I struggle against these motherfuckers. It's kind of embarrassing, but okay. Um... Miracle is really boring to play though. I'm just gonna try and zoom him down. I don't think that will work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna cut it out and you'll see me play another deck. But let's just hope that I can just zerk that motherfucker down. This is pretty bad as a starting hand. The creeper is okay-ish. It's better to have him than... Okay, this hand is pretty mediocre at best. So the light protects me. 
Let's see what we can do though. I kind of want to play on curve. That's why I want to play the haunted creeper. An egg. Okay. Don't want to fuck with the egg. That's okay. I want to soul fire that. Best case scenario. I want to play my... I want to play him so I have a big threat. A 4-4 does a lot of damage to him. Um, his plus 2 damage doesn't really do anything right now to any of my dudes. Other than activating the egg, which I will do. Like that, and then I'm gonna activate my egg on him. Now I don't want to soul fire him though, so I think I'm gonna run these two in. I think. Yeah. That's a good draw. Now he has a lot of value for this though. He gets three slimes. I don't really, I don't play any AOE in this deck. But I might be able to deal with it. Harvest Golem. I have uh, nine damage on the board. I want to get rid of the slimes. I cannot really get rid of the slimes that puts all of my dudes at 1 HP. I would rather have him trade into that stuff. I could sacrifice my Void Walker for it. I could do extra damage, so I'm gonna put him on the board. I think I'm just gonna burn, dude. Because for me, it's uh, I I didn't tap because I know I would get damage at some point. So he's not trading. That's good for me as well. Now, if I can get something, uh, the dire wolf is actually really good. The dire wolf is a really good draw. Now. I think I die a wolf between those guys. Attack into this, kill the first guy, run with him into that guy. Keeping everything al else alive. And then that thing is dead because he summons a 1-2, right? Yeah, he could run into it, sacrifice himself. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them between that. But like this. And then I'm gonna... Like this. Run this in. Because then he gets the buff. Um, run this in. Another abusive. That's not a good thing. Because he dies to everything Grobulus does. But I have 4 and 4 is 8 damage. That is 5. That is 3. He's dead, right? Wait. 3, 5, 10, 14, yeah, he's dead. Oh fuck, he can't attack, but he's dead anyways. Almost missed lethal. No talk. Okay, okay. Sorry, I, I almost missed lethal there. I was I always think too complicated when I haven't played in a long while because I haven't played like since the last wing pretty much. And then I just take a long time to realize what to do. Oh, that is this guy, right? I remember him. Eats our leftover zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. <laughs> The foul plague dog of Nexramas has an appetite so voracious that even the living can't satisfy him. Change the health of all minions to one. Oh, 
Let's just zoo it up, because there's a lot of stuff that I don't care about if it's at 1 HP anyways, because all of them... Well... Yeah, I just want to zerg him down. Should work. Maybe? Juggler is good. The other stuff I don't really care for too much. Two jugglers and a doom guard. That's really unfortunate. And a power overwhelming. Great. I asked the zombies if they wanted to eat your brains. And they said, I don't eat junk food. <laughs> yeah, good joke. Whenever a minion dies with the death red. What? Oh, fuck. That's not good. Is he running his, uh, himself into it? Okay. I'll take that trade. It's kind of annoying, but I'll take it. Kind of annoying, but... Decimation is Ooh, it does it to everything. Maybe I should have read that. Oh, All minions. Whoops. Oh, you motherfucker. You fucking dick. All minions means... I'll take an egg. I'll take it. Oh, why not hit him? Well, that's, I, that's pretty good as a juggle. Am I tapping or am I playing the... I guess I just play the guy. Dumb to play the guy before I destroy that guy. That, that That's what I realized. He's gonna run him in anyways and then he dies. So... Will he? Yeah, whatever. I think this is... That was dumb. That was really dumb. You don't need to tell me. I realized that that was dumb putting him... Oh. 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 Oh, you didn't do anything, huh? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Just don't hit my face. Thank you. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's an... So far, no, 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 no. To the enemy, well, yes, 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 I guess. But no, his fucking weapon, dude. Doomguard is 5, 3. He's really low if I Doomguard. Direwolf Alpha is really not that important. Yeah. Not that important. Ooh. Well, I was a death. Sentence, motherfucker, you're an idiot. <laughs> well, there's an achievement for losing to both, I'm pretty sure. Let's bad manner him. Okay. Gloof is a done for. Nice. Okay. Zombie chow. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Who looks like he could eat leftover zombies? I think... Lothar, man. Thaddeus is the result uh, of the most horrible and evil experiments in the Construct Quarter. Swap the attack and health of all minions. Then Zoo is really bad. Zoo is not... No. No. Not necessarily. My egg dies. Without needing to activate. The egg guys stay the same. All two threes... Or all three twos go to two threes. I have a lot of one ones. 
The only thing where I think it's really bad is an abusive because he becomes a 1-2, but even then a 1-2 is not that bad, so... Oh, right, uh, V2 runs actually Void Terror. That's what I realized. Yeah, I think Zoo is still good. I said I wanted to try mid-range, but mid-range seems really bad against that stuff. Doesn't seem too good, if I think about it. But, and it's on autocast, so he always does that. Okay. I must obey. Your soul shall be okay. Abusive is not that good, but that's really nice against him. That's a good curve. One, two, three. That's good, that's good. Well, that's good. The light protects me. Thank you. You die now. No, no, no diarino. Please. Zombie chow? Haunted creeper. It's all minions, right? Not that I'm missing something here. Yeah, all minions. Do I want a haunted creeper or do I want... I think I would rather have a haunted creeper, if I'm honest. Than a juggler? Even though a 2-3 juggler is fairly good. I think I would rather want a juggler, to be honest. Yeah. I fight. He's gonna run it in, right? Deal two damage to a random minion. Okay. That was not the best, but I can live with it. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if he trades. I will not trade. I will let him do that shit. I hope he runs into my... Nah, not really. Okay, that was random. Voidwalker is really bad, I guess. But I would rather still play it than not. In before you play something like Brawl or whatever. Do I... Do I trade? I don't know if he has any buffs. Do I trade? I, I guess I trade, right? So he cannot trade with my guy later. Feels like I want to trade. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Jeez, man. Yo, you're overloading yourself like crazy. I mean, he's changing it back and forth. So if if I have some minions that get a bad bad return out of it, it's okay if it lives after after the first round because he just changes it back. Power overwhelming. I don't really care for that too much. Another- Oh no! No, this is not good. This is not good. Two soul fires is not good on the hand. Next round he's pretty boned though. Right, what are you doing now, huh? That's not gonna help you, buddy. That kinda helps you. Okay, you ran that guy in. Maybe he wants to set up- Ooh! If I do that- wait. Four, five, six, plus that is ten, plus that is fifteen. He has fifteen HP. Okay! Kill. Zoo made pretty short work of that. This is the final straw. A wailing soul. Battle cry. Silence your other minions. Okay. Now we get our little Bing Fugin, and I think we get Stalag, right? Yeah. It's a pretty cool combo. 
I think Fugan is better than Stalag though. Stalag dies to a lot of stuff that can do 4 damage. And now we have the class challenges for Warrior and Priest. Okay, I think actually if I think about it on Heroic, I think Patchwork will be really hard on Heroic. Because he hurts like a truck on normal. He does 5 damage every round on normal and can kill random enemies. That probably destroys 2 minions or whatever. Or costs 2 mana. So that's gonna be crazy. Um, all of the other stuff, maybe this will do 2 damage instead or something. Yeah, that seems crazy. Now we have the class challenges, but as you know, this will be the first part and I will show you the class challenges uh, the day after this video comes out, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed all of this stuff. And next week we have the other and last quarter that opens up, which is the frost Frostworm Lair, and that has only two bosses in it. Which is one Kel'Thuzad, and the other one I think his name was Saphiron? I think it was Saphiron, the big Frostworm. So only two bosses left. Probably really hard. But you can look forward to that if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash unsaintly1 or at unsaintly1. And there's a link for that in the description below as well. If you don't want to hassle around with typing that in or whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the class challenges. And then later in the Frostworm quarter. So thank you guys for watching. My name is unsaintly. I'm out. Take care. Peace.